بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله Why do we emphasize going back to the creed and the way of the Salaf of this Ummah and also as important going back to the manners of the Salaf of this Ummah because the Prophet وسلم, his khuluq as Aisha anha said was khuluq al-Qur'an that he had the manners of the Qur'an and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in authentic hadith مَا مِنْ شَيْءٍ أَثْقُلُ فِي مِيزَانَ مُؤْمِنْ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ مِنْ حُسْنُ الْخُوْكِ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِذُ الْفَحِشَ الْبَذِي The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said in authentic hadith that there isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of a believer on the day of judgment then good manners and verily Allah hates wicked and sinful uh, speech so here the Prophet وسلم, made clear for us that our part of our creed and part of our understanding of Islam is setting a high standard of moral characteristics and that it is having the best of manners because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself had the best of manners. So we want to follow his sunnah. And this is the sunnah of the rightly guided Khulafa Rashidin, Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, radiallahu ta'ala anil majma'in, and the salaf of this ummah. Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Khayr al-nas qarni thumma al-ladheena yulunuhum thumma al-ladheena yulunuhum. The best people is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. If they were the best, they were the best what? In knowledge. They were the best in action. They were best in creed. They were the best in uh, manners. Uh, they were the best in adab. Why? Because the Prophet ﷺ said that they were the best. And the Prophet ﷺ said that the best is what? That what will be heavier on the scale of the believers, Yom al is good manners. So treating people good is very important that is the Salafi Dawah and that's where sometimes we have fallen short in the past especially with the Dawah being new to us to many of us in the West we fall short in this respect many of us we thought we came back from places like Yemen we came back from Saudi Arabia we came back from various in Egypt and various places to study but we didn't treat the people with kindness we didn't open the door to them and show them that the correct Aqidah is this the correct methodology is this and show them with manners this is why the Sufis and the other groups and Jamaat Tabliq and others the people gravitate towards them because they illustrate an openness to all Muslims we should open the door to all Muslims but we ta'awun ala bitter wa taqwa and that means we ta'awun ala sunnah and that doesn't mean we take the the way of Akhwan and Muslimin but we should still the asal is, is that we show good manners to even non-Muslims if you want to invite them to Islam who wants to come to Islam to someone who is harsh and someone who is uh, vile in speech and someone who is you know treating mistreating the people no one's gonna come to the Sunnah by that because that wasn't the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on Nabi and Muhammad